Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. Have we heard of a band called The Warning? No. Wow. All right. I'm, I'm You've been blind. warned. You've been warned. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is my next group of episodes on my Road Dogs and Rock Gods segment uh, that I do on my podcast. This is Delana Smith. Delana has been a friend of mine for many, many years. If we do not know who Delana is, for shame on you, <laughs> but she is originally from South Africa. Uh, she's a singer, songwriter, and performer. You may recognize her. She was on the CBS reality television show Rockstar Supernova, and she appeared on The Voice of Holland. She was also the lead singer of Tracy Guns's version of L.A. Guns. I thought I had met her on Rockstar Supernova. I went down to the show in 2006. It was to meet with Jason Newstead. Jason is an artist, and I was an art dealer. I was starting up to be an art dealer in 2006. I was just starting. I was just getting off the road with the Cranberries, and I was starting that up. And Jason, uh, I went down to the set to see his art and maybe give him a hand in uh, distributing the word. A little early on in my career, I couldn't help him very much, but he was a heck of a nice guy. And I thought I met Delana there. Anyway, after doing this, all these interviews with her here, these reaction videos, she's like, no, you're wrong. We actually met because uh, Cherry Lane Publishing put us together. And we wrote a track together for a film. And uh, it was a horror film that I was casting at the time, actually. And it got cut from this, the film. So she was saying, and this is a question to you guys, we should, uh, we should play the demo for everybody, her and I, and we can see if you guys think we should finish this song together that her and I were putting together, I'm going to say in like 2008, 9, 10, something like that. So... Uh, Maybe we'll do that. Let me know in the comments if you think we should or not. But either way, if we do, it'll be fine. I don't know. I also want to throw a special thanks out to the people at CircleClothing.com. They gave me this wonderful sweater to wear. It's made of baby alpaca. What I learned is that baby alpaca has even softer material than regular uh, alpaca. And what's fantastic, or regular, adult alpaca but what's fantastic about this is god is it comfortable all the colors are completely natural it is one piece it's not all sewn together in a bunch of pieces everything is like totally healthy and good for the earth it's expensive the material and whatnot because they're doing it that way everything's made in the usa but the, it's just such a fine piece of clothing and I, i'm so happy they gave it to me so i'm going to be very careful with this and uh I'm just really proud to wear it. It's just such an awesome thing to have. So thank you ever so much, people at Circle Clothing, for thinking of me and letting me wear one of your fantastic pieces of clothing. Uh, I highly suggest you guys go to Delana's channel and you check out all the stuff she's up to. She's a heck of a singer, for real, if you don't know her. But let's see what she has to say on some of these reaction videos. Let's jump into this one and let's see what Delana thinks. Let's do it. Okay, this is the warning. The warning are three sisters. They are out of Mexico. They're young, and I think they're incredibly talented. And I think they are a driving force of where rock is going these days. So there's a hell of an introduction for you. You can, you can still say you don't like them, but I'd be nice. surprised. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Uh, this <laughs> is at the VMAs. This is at the VMAs from last year. So we'll give it a go. Okay. All right, cool.
Yeah. You like them? Yeah. Oh, oh, I like that. I love that. I really love that. That power trio. Cool guitar riffs. Like the riffs are really cool. They're tight. The drummer is awesome. She's so fun. She really, she's my favorite in the band. Uh, I wow. really dig her. Yeah. She's like the way she got the crowd going. And it's not often that you see the drummer from behind having a, a lead role like that. Fabulous. Loved it. Oh, great, great hooks. Not it's not like a super complicated song, but it's so everyone loves it. It's easy to sing along. You know, that's what people need these days. Not too much thinking. Just go out there and have fun and proud. I'm I'm proud to say those are my sisters of rock. Very yeah. cool. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Uh, I, I wish them luck. Good morning. I'm going to totally check them out. Great. Yeah, I loved it. Okay, cool. I could have had a little more grit on the guitar but it's once again that's just a production thing or and then this was live so you never know how they recorded it but i was just missing a little more ballsy guitar but you know that's a minor thing i thought they were awesome cool love the whole performance yeah really super great i think they're so talented okay wonderful all right yeah. let's jump to japan since we were talking about guitar I'm going to bring on some guitar goddesses. Have we heard of a band called Love Bites? I have. And why? Yes, I have heard of Love Bites. Could be because of my daughter. She's very much into Japanese, Korean, chick power music. So maybe that's why. Smart kid. Not... Yeah, she's very smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's jump into Love Bites. You can let me know what you think. All right, cool. <laughs> Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks. <laughs>